What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae the first back again with another video. And like I told you guys last week, we're doing Jujutsu Kaisen on Fridays as well, just like my hero academia. Last chapter was insane. Uh chapter 184. I don't know if Panda's dead or not. I don't think so. I think it was his and I'm going straight up with Panda because that was pretty much the chapter. Costume pulled up, fuck Panda up. Panda, he had um, transformed to his sister and she was like this big like insect looking type thing. And he got fucking uh, like electrocuted, like electric slash or some shit. And it looks like it was like towards like his neck and his shoulder. That's why it looks like it was from his sister's core. Cause I remember, I think she was around his neck. If I don't know if I'm wrong on that, but I believe she was like around his neck, that core was on his neck. So I'm assuming that maybe um, Kashimo ends up just slashing that part in particular. Cause even at the last panel or the second to last panel or the last chapter, you see that like his body still looks intact. You know what I'm saying? So I thought it was like putting emphasis just on that direct slash on that part. So that core might be down. His sister's core might be down right there. So that's all I was saying. I don't think that he's actually dead, dead. Cause I know a lot of people were saying like, you know, within the past week, like, yeah, Panda died. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, I really don't see um, Gege killing Panda right now. I, I don't know. I really don't see that. That'd be a, that'd be kind of crazy if he did. I do not see that though. I really don't. But let's continue. Let's get into this next chapter, chapter 185, Jujutsu Kaisen. Your body is so empty. Uh-oh, we get oh, we're getting a flashback from Pan, so he might end up turning up. Chain punch. Owie, your defense is full of holes. Stop hitting me. Your body is so empty. Stop it. <laughs> big sister, big brother is wah. Hey. Hmm. Okay, so they actually huh. So the his brother and sister were actually like. Which makes sense, because like like having you know what i'm saying it makes sense that he actually had interacted with them and they had their own bodies and of course um uh yaga principal yeah principal yaga like put them all together and whatnot so it was a, a little um, monkey or or a gorilla and i still don't know what the fucking sister is to be honest like oh she's a rhino or is that somebody I think she was a rhino. I didn't know what the fuck I seen last time. I thought it was like an insect or some shit. I don't know. I think I said it last time. I said, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Why did you bully Panda? I didn't. He's just a game. He's just a game of weed pulling. Oh, really? Then Panda should get a turn next, right? Fine, Panda. You got to fight back sometimes. Mmm. <laughs> Look at little Panda. <laughs> Damn, Big Brother's socking him and shit. Why you do that? And his sister chasing after him. Like, why are you doing that? His nose bloody and shit. Together always. Mmm. What is this? Is this like a shrine? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Don't tell me that. Wow. And then the chapter is called Bye Bye. Wow. So Panda's going to actually die. All of them. Dog. I thought it was really just his sister. Wow. Wow. Don't follow us. Well, why not? You don't know how to ride a bike. You'll just get in the way. But I know how. <laughs> yeah, those slow coach training wheels on. Uh, yeah, with those slow coach training wheels on. Whisper, whisper. How about this? You can throw that ball into the river. I'll let you join us. <laughs> but Santa gave me this at, at the kids club. Santa's not real. Yeah, he's just some useless old man. Throw it. <laughs> throw it. One more time. Um, he <laughs> look at his brother like, hey. <laughs> yeah. The only thing to the river is a crime, isn't it? It's destroying the environment, hmm? Run, we've got it reported to the police, huh? Damn it, why'd you throw it, hmm? Wasn't that ball an important gift from Santa? It's not something you can just throw. Are you stupid? It's because I wanted to play with my big brother. <laughs> He's just trying to impress his big brother, you know what I'm saying? I feel it, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I said girl, Guri. No matter what you have to say for yourself, you went overboard today, all right? There's a difference between you bullying him and other kids bullying him. When the latter happens, you're the one who needs to protect him. That's right. You're his big brother. Sis is always playing with the girl, so you don't get it. When Panda's there, I can't have any fun. He always wants to team up with me, but being in a team with him always means losing. Hey, man, that's your little brother. If anything, that should make you want to play even harder. You know what I'm saying? Get even more competitive so you can say, okay, I'm winning this with my brother, and I'm all, I'm also the one that's carrying shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Show why you're better than everybody else when y'all playing games. Come on, man. <laughs> have you noticed that he always checks, uh, he always checks if you're there before crying? Hmm? He's too cushy. It's annoying. I think it's the opposite, actually. 
Oh, no matter what you do to Panda, he always acts like nothing happened the next time we eat it together. Nice. Little brother, you dope little brother. That kid doesn't get any, uh, doesn't get angry at you or hold a grudge. He just thinks this is how brothers should be. Atlas Beetle, big brother. <laughs> Aren't you the one acting spoiled when Panda forgets everything you do? When Panda forgets everything you do. Big brother, look, there was a big stag beetle on the window screen. Where's the bug cage again? This is a Dorcas Titanus. Ah, <laughs> and piggy bank. 100 should be enough, right? What color was that ball again? Mmm, he's going to buy his brother a ball, a new ball. Mmm, wow, man, this is, wow. Well, anything's fine. He's just an idiot after all. Gorilla, gorilla, wake up. Gorilla. Dad, dad? Why, where are we? Where's Panda? We're saying goodbye to Panda. Whoa. Why? No reason. How long? Forever. Whoa. Big brother. Big. Wow. They really left. Pan wow. Why did father do that? Where? Where are you? Panda. Gorilla. Let go. Let go of me. No. That kid can't survive on his own. Gorilla. Listen to me. He's a slow runner. He's not good at games or playing football. Sometimes he even wets the bed. That kid can't survive without me. He sucks at everything. I can't leave him behind by myself. That's not it, Gorilla. The ones who are being left behind are us. Huh? Let him go. You're his big brother, right? Whoa, what's going on? But right, the, the ball tomorrow, I wanted to buy it. Nothing will be the same for for us either. Without him, look at this, uh, look at this sign. The one who talked to, uh, who talked to the store employee, employee for our sis. Whoa. You see Panda crying, big brother gorilla crying. And then you see them dead in the next chapter in the present time, wow. Damn. Wow. I didn't receive any points. Does that mean he's not dead yet? It's hard to read the expression of a panda that's no good. Spit it out. Where's Sukuna? He's still talking though. Sorry. A panda's jaw is very tight. Wow, I see. Then I'll make sure you never open it again. Oh, my boy Hikari pulled up. Like I said, man. Like I said. Like I said. Hikari's gonna pull up. I knew he was gonna fight him. For one, they in the same goddamn colony. Two, when they introduced Kashimo, you know, and establishing that he's a very, you know, powerful opponent, I was thinking, okay, Hikari definitely got to go in there because we've been hyped up with Hikari for a while. Him and YouTube, them being relative to each other and relative to Gojo and all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, Hikari got to pull up, man. And he pulled up, up. He broke the hell out of that. Was that roof or some shit? Or the building. He, he went through that bitch. Did you lose some weight, Panda? I'm happy that he, he came through for a man. God damn. Hikari, oi, don't you get me too excited. A feverish entrance. Wow. This is a dope ass chapter. Damn. So his brother and sister, I think they died, huh? It looks like their core is fucked up. But Panda's still alive, at least. Which is something that I always already expected. I was hoping that they all didn't die, though. I've been fucked up. They showed us flashback and stuff. And it was interesting though that the that the dad said that um that they only wanted panda right and that they were all going to die that's interesting or not die but that they're the ones that are getting left behind i don't get what he meant by that is he saying because like the experiment at the jujutsu headquarters or really principal yaga was going to do and then eventually i guess he fused all of them together but what about the dad is this principal yaga as a doll? I don't know. I don't know. I, I doubt it. But I don't know. Let me know that I'm a little clear up some things for me if you guys understand it a little more than me. You know what I'm saying? About that whole situation about them running away and then leaving Panda and all this stuff. Like, yeah. You know what? Maybe they end up they did end up dying. And then that's when Yaga used their cores and put it into Panda. Maybe. I don't know. It could have been something like that. That's interesting though. I was so scared that Panda was going to die. But Panda, he said, I ain't snitching. That's one thing I love. Panda said, I am not snitching. He said, where is Sukuna? Sukuna not my boy, but my boy is with Sakuna. My boy, Yuji. I am not snitching for shit, boy. The fuck? This is going to be crazy, though. Akari really pulled up. I love that he pulled up for Panda. Because somebody like Panda dying, like, obviously, that will pull on the heartstrings for a lot of the audience. 
But I don't feel like you can't kill Panda. He's like a mascot. You can't kill Panda. Not like that. At least if you kill Panda, he had to go out in the blaze of glory. You can't just go out just getting killed. You know what I'm saying? Like normal, like any normal person. Like you can't do that to Panda. It has to be on a high note. You feel me? I mean, this is a high note technically, but you know what I mean? Like him actually like getting the upper hand and going out while somebody else is going out or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But man, this is a dope chapter. This chapter gets a nine out of 10 for me. Damn near 10 out of 10. Actually 10 out of 10. This is actually a 10 out of 10 chapter because for one, there was a misdirect. I thought they all were gonna die. We got a flash record panda and his brother and the sister, which make a lot of sense. Um, that's like real life type stuff too. You know, big brother, little brother, and sister type thing. Um, that kind of dynamic. So I really like that. Um, and what else did I like about this? Oh, and Akari pulling up for Panda in the end, and Panda not snitching. I like all of that. I love all of that. That's a 10 out of 10 chapter for me. You know what I'm saying? Damn, look at these color pages. God damn, this shit look nice. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. You know what, though? I wonder if Panda is going to die because he don't have nobody that can put him back together, right? Like, Yaga's not here to do that. I mean, he still has Panda's core, at least from what I know. I can see that siblings look like that they're dead, but Panda still has his core. So I wonder if... Oh, yeah, that's right, because his core did get messed up before. His sister's core got messed up before in the past. In the, um, the, um, what was it called? The, uh, damn, the school, the exchange event, right? Um, his sister's core did get messed up by Mechamaru, but Yaga was still there to, like, put him back together, because that's what we know, that Yaga can pretty much do that. So I wonder if somebody can do use, like, reverse curse technique on him. I believe they should be able to, but when it comes to his cores, it looks like that they're gone, gone forever, which is dope. You know what I'm saying? That's that, because that was really, uh, that was sad. That whole story was sad. And it would just be dope to see Panda actually still be around. You know what I'm saying? He might be a little weaker because of his core not being there, but his, uh, his siblings not being there with him, but... I don't know, this might make him stronger, it could. But I just, the most important thing is that he's still alive, and that's why I like it a lot. But it was a dope chapter though, man. I'm excited to get into this next chapter next week. And let me know down below how you guys felt about this chapter in particular, any predictions for the Zakari versus Kashimo fight, um, and any, you know, comments about my reaction itself. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Next week, you got more of this, you know what I'm saying? You already know. Every Friday is for doing that Jujutsu Kaisen. So, Without further ado, I'll let you guys all have a good one. So please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. See you guys on the next video. And peace.